Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to talk about the new upcoming release from Lisa Eldridge. And I thought I would take this opportunity to go ahead and swatch every single Lisa Eldridge lipstick that I own. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Before we go any further into today's video, I would like to let you know that this video is in fact sponsored by me. I now have an online beauty consulting service. So this is where you and I chat one-on-one -on -one about any and all beauty concerns you might have. I am a makeup artist as well as esthetician. So if you would like to simply pick my brain about your current beauty routine, or if you have very specific questions about certain makeup techniques or applications, please do not hesitate to make an appointment today. There is a link below in the description box for you to make your appointment. So a few days ago, I received an email from Lisa Eldridge announcing a new launch on October 3rd at 4 p.m. UK time. So I thought I would take this time with you to just read off some of the information in the email here. The email says, Dear VIPs, I am so excited to finally be sharing my latest launch with you. I've been working flat out creating the most beautiful new formulas and textures, designing fabrics and curating collections. Everything is now available on the site just to view. You cannot order it, you cannot pre-order it. The pre-order, as I said, is Saturday, October 3rd at 4 p.m. UK time. Lisa goes on to say that she will be uploading a video on her YouTube channel with the new colors for swatches. And just to give a bit more context and information about the colors, as I'm recording this October 1st, there is still no video. I believe she's planning on releasing this video the same day as the launch. So the first new thing in this launch here are the Fantasy Florals Lip Kits. So each kit contains a true velvet lipstick, a gloss embrace lip treatment gloss, and an enhanced and defined lip pencil. So the lip gloss and lip pencil are brand new. The True Velvet came out last year. So these are luxury and also limited edition. I think these are going to go the fastest. Those are the ones that I'm personally mo the most excited about. And they've been designed in collaboration with an artist. His name is Jan Jacobsen. I could be, I could be butchering this poor artist's name completely. Maybe it's John Jacobsen. I apologize. Anyway, they look beautiful, they look elegant, they look a little bit vintage as well. And these are velvet bags. So velvet in the same sense that these bags came out in last year with a true velvet, this sort of velvet texture, velvet feel. Except the fantasy floral kits have a beautiful floral pattern on them too. She is also going to restock the true velvet lipsticks and she's launching four new colors. Velvet Affair, Velvet Carnival, Velvet Blush, and Velvet Dragon. Honestly, these all look so beautiful. I am really excited to see how these look compared to the rest of the True Velvet collection. I hope she does some swatches side by side with some of these, especially with Velvet Dragon. I'm intrigued to see how it compares to Velvet Morning, you know, just to see what the differences are. For me, right off the bat, Velvet Carnival is calling my name. I love bright colors, and this one here just looks really enticing. Also, Lisa will be introducing these new lip glosses called the Gloss Embrace. This clever multitasking formulation functions as both medium to high pigment gloss and instant restoring treatment, cushioning the lips with emollient hydrators and leaving them soft as silk. If this is multitasking, I wonder if it also can be used as a blush. I'm intrigued. These are supposed to be non-stick with a veil of color and are supposed to help hydrate and nourish your lips at the same time. There will be six colors and they look like they are going to be matching certain lipsticks, some of the velvets and some of the lusciously lucent. So we have here Ribbon, Myth, Muse, and then Go Lightly, Beauty, and Blush. These to me all look really pretty. Again, 
I'm excited to see some real life swatches with Lisa because sometimes a promo photo can look a little bit different than a real life photo or a video. It's just, you know, a question of actual human skin tone that makes the difference. For me, the Go Lightly gloss looks interesting as well as Beauty and Blush and maybe even Muse. Honestly, they all look really beautiful. So something new that she's adding that's really intriguing is she's adding this create your own kit feature. So you can pick and choose different colors of these velvets, these velvet pouches, sorry. I think there is a beautiful emerald. I think there's also a really dark blue navy. And you can choose your dream combination while the supplies last of velvet lipsticks and the gloss. The lip liners, I do not think are part of this mix and match make your own creation, which is a bit disappointing, but you can build your own kit. And from the photos, I think you need to have three items in the kit to buy it, but I could be wrong. Finally, the last addition to this new launch here, Lisa curated two new velvet trios. So two new velvet kits like this with the lipsticks. The first one being a velvet romance in that beautiful emerald green pouch. And so that one has the velvet lipsticks in Affair, Muse, and Blush. And the Velvet Rose collection has Velvet Beauty, Velvet Carnival, and Velvet Blush. And she's also bringing back some of the original velvet trios, like this one that came last year. She's bringing that back and some of the other ones from last year as well. So just overall, there is a lot to choose from. It's a little bit overwhelming. The first time you go on the site, you're a little bit like, wow, there's so much. So if you missed out on any previous launches, I think this is a good time to restock or to stock up. There's definitely going to be a lot of new, beautiful collections. For me, I think the velvet floral pouches are calling my name. I just have to make sure that I don't end up getting two of the same velvets. That's my only concern. The lip glosses are pretty and I don't know. It's really just a question of deciding how many I want because I am a, I'm a huge fan of Lisa Eldridge. I've bought basically all of her collections. I don't own every single lipstick that she's released, but I own a pretty big collection. So I thought for today, now that we have explained and talked through this new collection, this new launch happening very shortly, I would go ahead and just swatch every lipstick that I own because as I mentioned, just seeing a lipstick on a human flesh on a human body is definitely different than seeing a promo photo. And I know Lisa will come out with her video shortly, but at least this way you have this video here to just see every color that I own. And hopefully this just helps you at home decipher which colors to get. So I do not own the glosses or the lip liners because they're not available for sale yet but I own a large majority of her lipsticks. As I said, I don't own every single one, but I own, I think, every one except for like maybe two or three. Now that I'm thinking about it, did her True Velvets come out last year or the year before? I think last year her summer collection came out and it was possibly the year before that that her True Velvets came out. I don't know, time is melting together, so who knows? I'm gonna start off with swatching the True Velvets because these to me just seem more fall themed and just appropriate for the lipsticks coming out. So the first one here is Velvet Fawn. So Velvet Fawn to me was a lipstick that I bought, not really sure how I would like it, but I actually really, really love it. It's one of my favorite nudes. The undertone in this is really perfect. Oftentimes, nudes make me look a little bit deceased. This does not. It's just the perfect balance. It's really lovely. It's also quite comfortable. So the velvet collection are more matte, but they're not very drying. They still feel quite emollient and a little bit waxy. Um, yeah, so this here is a velvet fawn. I have my handy Bioderma with me in this adventure in all of the lip swatches. Okay, next we have Velvet Muse. This one here is definitely darker. So to me, Velvet Muse 
gives me a 90s supermodel nude, you know? It's a little bit darker than Velvet Fawn, but not too dark. It's really pretty. If I look at the new velvets that are coming out, Velvet Affair and Velvet Blush, Velvet Blush looks like it's going to be more pink, maybe more of a berry, and Velvet Affair possibly will be more of a caramel color. And now we have a Velvet Decade, which gives me deep 90s moody vibes. This one I wear less on its own. I usually mix it with other colors. I like to mix it with a bright red to kind of give that like chocolatey cherry red, but it's really deep. I think this is really perfect for darker skin tones. It's still a nice 90s mood. It's like a fall witchy vibe. Now we're moving on to Velvet Ribbon, our classic Snow White Red. So Velvet Ribbon. What else is there to say? It's a classic cool toned red. It's beautiful and makes your teeth look very white. I don't know what Velvet Dragon will be like. I don't know if it's going to be a darker version of this or a deeper, who knows? So anyway, this one here is beautiful. Let's move on to Velvet Morning. So Velvet Morning, this is a orange warm toned red my absolute favorite lipstick color from Lisa Eldridge. So as you can see, this is quite orange. I love it. Again, I'm not sure where Velvet Dragon will fall. Will it be closer to this shade here, closer to Velvet Ribbon, or somewhere totally different? Time will tell. So a slight hiccup in my plans. I'm on the Lisa Eldridge website, and I was about to swatch Skyscraper Rose and Rainbow Spill, but they are nowhere to be found on the website. So I don't know if they are no longer available for sale. I don't know if they are just out of stock and just not featured right now because she is pushing her True Velvets and the new collections right now. I will go ahead and swatch these lipsticks that came out in the summer collection just because I wanna show you how all of these lipsticks look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Rainbow Spill here. Now, this is a fun neon popsicle pink. It's very cool tone. And she has a new velvet coming out called Carnival. And it looks like a cool toned fuchsia berry. It looks very fuchsia. So I think it'll be very different from this color here. Let's go ahead and continue with our swatches. And now we have a Skyscraper Rose. So a Skyscraper Rose is definitely more of a muted, darker pink berry. It's very lovely. I love Rainbow Spill as well, and I'm wondering where Carnival will fit. Will it be somewhere in between Rainbow Spill and Skyscraper Rose? Time will tell. And now we have these luxuriously lucent lipsticks here. This one is called Love of My Life. I'm wondering how close this will be to some of the lip glosses because there's one called Beauty that's a bit more cool toned pink. Just from what I'm seeing in the promo photo, these look like they could go together well, but again, time will tell. And then last but not least, I have the lipstick called Go Lightly. Now, there's going to be a gloss also called Go Lightly, and it's supposed to be the same salmon pink super pretty color. The Go Lightly lip gloss is supposed to be inspired by this lipstick here. I don't know if it will be a 100% same color match, but I think if you like this lipstick, you should in theory like the Go Lightly lip gloss. Okay, I reapplied a Velvet Muse because it just goes with my whole look here. As I mentioned, the pre-sale pre-order is Saturday, October 3rd at 4 p.m. UK time. Now it says here that if you complete your order by Friday the 16th of October, your order will be shipped on the 19th of October. And something a little extra to add is at the very end of her email, she also says that she's going to launch a new item that she's not going to announce what it is until the day of the launch or the pre-sale. My suspicion is that it's going to be merchandise because in her latest video, she is wearing this gray sweatshirt with the Lisa Eldridge logo on it. So if I was going to guess, 
I mean, I hope that she's going to sell those sweatshirts. All right, you guys, I think this is it for today's video. My lips are on fire. I am ready to give my lips a break. I truly hope that this was helpful. I hope it gave you some clarity on the lipsticks that are out there and also for the new launch coming up. Feel free to like and also subscribe to my channel. I am a luxury beauty fanatic. I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. I do lots of reviews and also lots of tutorials. So whenever I get new collections, I will create several different looks with the same collections. So you really get a sense on how to use up all of your makeup at home. Anyway, this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.